I'm Tiger Height, and I'm here to make AEW Dynamite, Grand Slam, and Pro Wrestling Majestic again. Woo, this show was a challenge to watch. Keep in mind, a uh, collision may or may not happen, like SmackDown. Sorry, I have family in town, and I do that in the middle of the day. It is what it is. I'll remind you guys again tomorrow, but I'll just remind you here. Anyway, this show... Ugh. Positives, negatives, a lot more negatives than positives, to be honest with you. And that's not just the attendance rate. Trust me, 13,000 people in the building to nine over a year? That's not good. Like, at all. Even their seating chart was different and they still couldn't do it. Our first match, title for title, Claudio Castagnoli and Eddie Kingston for both the Ring of Honor World and the strong openweight champion. It was a fun match, but that ending came out of absolute nowhere, and it took a bunch of plebs to get the reason for it. Like, the announcers did not explain it at all. I didn't care about it. There was no hint at it, and it just was there. Now, if this was like a main event to like a regular Dynamite, it would have been really good, but this was a curtain jerker. The Ring of Honor World Champion means nothing. Ring of Honor means nothing. And talk about New Japan Strong's nonsense champions. Let's put in the curtain jerker of a show that can't sell 10,000 seats in a 20,000 seat capacity stadium. What's your excuse? What is it? I'll wait. Let me just pull out my watch here. Oh, that's right. You have none. It was a power bump for the win. But despite all of that, it was a fun match. I'll give it an Orange Cassidy thumbs up. Based on the rivalry here, it should have been a full thumbs up. Oh my god. Alright, uh, Chris Jericho and Sammy Guevara. There was a lot here that I liked, actually. Uh, the build sucked, overall. I did like Sammy Guevara's little hint at the WrestleMania 19 gear of Chris Jericho against Shawn Michaels. I really liked that. Uh, the match was fun. The ending was awful, by the way. It was a botched codebreaker for Chris Jericho to win. Once again, it was a botched codebreaker. Might as well do a shooting star press into Judas Effect. Probably would have been better. But I did like the ending. I liked that they hugged the low blow. And I really liked Sammy Guevara possibly with Don Callis. It's something that he so needs... I can totally dig a Takeshka and Sammy Guevara tag team, and I think it would actually bring some value to Sammy's credit. Will it be a lot? No. Sammy's all sucks. But I liked more than I hated. I'll give it an Orange Cassidy thumbs up. All right, here's where it goes off of a cliff. And I understand accidents happen, but come the fuck on. Did you have to do two, two pile drivers? The first one, Moxley didn't even kick out. He didn't. Oh, by the way, this is for the international champion. Moxley got dropped on his fucking head on the first pile driver. And you should have done the pin. But this referee is fucking awful. Where Ray Phoenix picked up a basically unconscious fucking Moxley with a concussion. And guess what he did? Dropped him on his head again and pinned him. I understand that wasn't originally the finish, but the first one should have been it. But the ref said, oh no, it was totally a kick out. <sighs> it's fucking dumb. The match got zero momentum. It was a meh in that mess at the end. This gets a two thumbs down and a fuck you. And it makes it even worse that Moxley was so pissed off that he locked himself in his trailer outside of even his wife. This dude was so infuriated, and trust me, if I was a competitor and that shit happened, I would do the exact same thing. Called a lawsuit city, bitch, because where, where were the doctors there? Clearly there was something wrong. God. You know what, maybe another fuck you to Tony Khan for allowing another pile driver on a guy you didn't kick out of a one pile driver. Okay, even after all of that, it was a whatever match. I love 
Tony Storm's new theme. I like the black and white. I'm really digging it. It's kind of hot. But with Soraya in this match, it was so messy. God, what a mess. It was all over the place. And people were like, oh, the shoes are more over than anything on this show. Dude, I listened to it, bitch. It was, it's not over. It's about as over as me having a wet fart. Yeah, that, that's really over. And trust me, that's not over to me, and I feel better after the fart. Oh my god. And it was a garbage lifting DDT for Soraya to win. God, it was a whatever, to be honest with you. I'll give it an Orange Cassidy thumbs down, and that's literally because of that bitch. God damn, dude. I'm, I'm so digging the look. I love the entrance. 100%. But she's a bitch. I mean, like, legitimately... I would not have a legitimate, honest-to-God, good conversation with her. Like, seriously. She seems like a pretentious, spoiled brat. Period. But she's actually putting in work. She's not. No matter how many facelifts, no matter how many boob jobs, no matter how many lip injections you do, you're modified. Get over it. And you have no room to call anybody else Hideous, you barched Barbie doll. Period. And in our main event, MJF Samoa Joe, Adam Cole got hurt. He jumped off of the apron, he landed weird, and he started limping. Now, it could have been just like a weird pop. I, I have that all the time. Trust me, I go to the gym five times a week. I've, I've had that in the gym before. People have asked about if I was okay. But he noticeably limped, and it wasn't getting any better. The match was fun, overall. I mean, it should have been better. Oh, absolutely. Maybe a little more build instead of a week. Probably would have been better. But it was a choke with a rope, and then a regular choke for MJF to win. Excuse me. Did this break Samoa Joe? No. But... Was it kind of a lame ending? And then the handshake? Oh, definitely. Doesn't look like a killer. It looks like a puss. Mm. Orange Cassidy thumbs up, and that's being nice. I like the pacing overall of this match. But that was really dynamite. And to be honest with you, the pacing of the show was good. Five in-ring segments. Not a lot of nonsense backstage. No weird anything outside of these five matches. And I am 100% about that. It was a lot better than I expected. But damn. Less than 10,000. That's 3,000 down. That's really bad. But let me know what you thought about not only my video, but of Grand Slam in the comments either down below or right next to me over here. Like the video, subscribe or follow, become a patron, get some cool swag. All those links will be in the bio or in the description. And as always, be majestic.